Welcome back children with the next set of letter friends. And which letter do you see on your screen? It's I, a vowel and what is the sound? I, 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 I. So there is a girl here. Can you see a pretty girl? Her name is I, I, Ipsita. I, I, Ipsita. Ipsita lives in India. Ipsita lives in India. Where does Ipsita live? In India. All of us live in India. One fine day, Ipsita wanted to visit a place called Iceland. Okay? She wanted to visit a place called Iceland. But her mother had put a condition that if you can draw our own country's map using ink, then I will take you to I will take you to Iceland. Ipsita took the challenge and she took her pen, dipped it in the ink and drew a beautiful map of her country, India. The map came out so well that her mother congratulated her and she said, you did a wonderful job Ipsita. We are going to book tickets for Iceland. Ipsita loved ice so much that she wanted to visit Iceland. Now, when her mother went away, a beautiful thing happened. She saw a small insect which was walking very slowly and Ipsita had put her ink pot near the canvas and this insect suddenly felt inside the ink pot. Ipsita got very scared. She poured all the ink outside so that the insect could survive. Okay, such a compassionate and good girl Ipsita is. Now this insect somehow managed to gasp for breath because it had gone inside the ink pot, right? So when the insect came out and managed to take some breath, it started walking on Ipsita's canvas and on India's map, she had all these small, 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 small insect steps. And it was looking so good. When Ipsita's mother saw that, she said, wow, this is a new art. And she prayed and hoped that the insect would be fine. After a few months, Ipsita and her family went to Iceland. And it was always Ipsita's dream to make an igloo. So she made an igloo and they stayed inside the igloo for one night. Such a nice thing, right? So Ipsita, who lives in India, in India, just like all of us, was given a condition by her mother that draw the map of India using your pen and ink. So she drew a beautiful map, but there was an insect who climbed and went inside the ink pot. And to save the insect, Ipsita poured all the ink and helped the insect survive. Now the same insect started walking on the canvas and left its footprints. Yet the map looked really beautiful. The map of India. And then after a few months, Ipsita and family went to Iceland and they built an igloo and lived there for one night. So that was Ipsita's dream which came true. If you to have a dream of going somewhere for a vacation, your mama papa will put some conditions. Otherwise, rewards are not just given like that. So if they ask you to study well, behave well, do that and win your prize. Okay? So will you tell Ipsita's story to your parents? Ipsita lives in India, drew a map using the ink, the insect fell inside, she brought the insect out and she went to Iceland and lived in igloo for one night. Now let's move on and look at our next friend. And this friend is J. 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 John. So they left a man whose name was John. And he had a pretty daughter whose name was Jolly. John and Jolly. John and Jolly. One fine evening, 
John came back from his work, opened his jacket, and this jacket was John's favorite jacket. He put the jacket on the sofa and asked Jolly, how was her day? Jolly said, Papa, my day was really good. Do you need something? <coughs> Sorry. John said, yes, Jolly, since your mother is not here, she's not yet back from office, could you please help me with a glass of water? Jolly jumped and said, yes, Papa, I will bring a glass of water for you. She jumped, jumped, jumped and went inside the kitchen. She jumped and went inside the kitchen. Then she took a jug and poured some water in the glass. She poured some water in the glass. She poured the water from the jug. J -j -jug. Just then her eyes fell on the cookie jar. Her eyes fell on the cookie jar. She tried really hard to reach the jar when all of a sudden she slipped and fell down. And what happened? Both the jug and the jar fell on the ground and there was a big thud. Boom! John was really, you know, he was really surprised and he was, he was shocked what happened. When he came inside the kitchen, he saw Jolly wet with water from the jar and fondly eating the cookie from her cookie jar. How many times has this happened that you've been asked to do something and you turn out to do something else? And if your eyes fell on something which you love to eat, you forget all the tasks and start eating your favorite dish. That's what Jolly did. Thankfully, she did not get hurt. Okay? So John's daughter Jolly, Jolly likes to jump. She wanted to give some water to her dad from the jug. But her eyes fell on the cookie jar and in an attempt to take the jar, she not only, not only did the jug fell, but the jar fell also. But she got her cookie from the cookie jar. So now think of some other words that start with ch, 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 j, and make your own story. Okay? Now, the next letter of friend that we have is K. 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 Kangaroo. So, do you see? Kangaroo. There was a kangaroo who had a little kid. K. K. Kid. Kangaroo and her little K. K. Kid. Kangaroo. Kid. The kangaroo, the kangaroo kid wanted to learn martial arts. So the kangaroo kid told her, his mother, Mama, can you put me to the martial art class? I would like to kick. So kangaroo kick liked to, kid liked to kick. K -k kick. Kangaroo kid liked to kick. His mother said, of course, I will put you in the martial arts. But before that, you will have to eat a healthy fruit. And that fruit was kangaroo kid's favorite food. What was that fruit? It was kiwi. K -k kiwi. K -k kiwi. After kangaroo kid ate the kiwi, kangaroo mother put him inside the pouch and left for the martial art class because kangaroo wanted to know how to kick. On their way to the martial arts class, the kangaroo kid saw some kites. K -k kites. Then the kangaroo kid said, Mama, can I buy a kite? The kangaroo mama said, Of course, kid. I will buy this kite for you. And she bought 
two beautiful kites for the kangaroo kid and reach the martial art class. So, what is the story about? It's a small story about the kangaroo kid who wanted to learn how to kick. So, his mother told him that if you want to learn, you have to eat healthy fruits. And what was his favorite fruit? It was a kiwi. And on their way to the martial arts class, they found a kite shop and the kangaroo kid bought two kites for himself. Kid, kangaroo, kick, kiwi, kite, k k kangaroo, k k kid, k k kick, k k kiwi, and k k kite. Okay, so now you know this friend called K with the sound k. Now let's look at our another friend, and this friend's name is L. The friend's name is L, and what's the sound? L. L, L. Okay. So now let's look at the story of the Lion King. How many of you have watched this? Watch this movie, Lion King, Simba, and the Lion King. Of course, my story is a bit different. So Lion was the king of the jungle. Okay, and he was a very generous lion, a very nice lion, L -l lion. Though he was the king of the jungle, he also wanted to take care of the villages surrounding the jungle. He didn't want any of the animals to disturb the villagers. Okay. One fine day, while the lion was taking rest, his friend, the lamb, came to the lion and said, O king, I bow to you. The Lion King said, Yes, dear lamb, what are you doing in a jungle? You should be there in the village. Then the lamb said, O king, we have a problem in the village and we would need your help to solve it. The lion roared loudly and he said, My help to solve the problem in the village? Are you sure? I am the king of the jungle. I cannot solve problems for the humans. The lamb said, We know you can do that, O king. The lion laughed. Ha, ha, ha. I think you must be joking, dear lamb. Lamb said, No, lion king. All we want from you is a lamp. Because in your den, there is a lamp. It's very dark out there in the village. So if you can help us with your lamp, we will get some light. The Lion King was very generous. He said, why not? Take my lamp with you and light your village. So how was the Lion King? He was a very generous man. Who was his friend? A lamb. What did the lamb want? A lamp. Because he wanted some light in the village. So how was the small story on the Lion King? Lion King is a really, really generous and good lion. Then we come to M. M, M, man. M, M, man. So you see, there is a man whose name is Mac. M, M, Mac. M, M, man. And Mac was a magician. Mac was a magician. And what did Mac do? He used to do magic. Mac used to do magic. He had a magic wand and he used to do magic with his magic wand. One fine day, he saw that the audience were not interested in his magic and he felt very sad. He said that this is my livelihood. I'm going to get my living, my, uh, my life only revolves around magic. I cannot do anything beyond magic and people do not seem to be interested. It was then that his magic wand told him, can you play games with your audience? Give them some mask. 
let them wear the mask and identify one another. Let's just play this game. So, the magician Mac moved his magic wand and everybody in the audience were in a mask. And then he said to his audience, hey beautiful people, now that all of you all are in the mask, can you identify your partners? And everybody was like, where did this mask come from? And Max said, it's with the help of this magic wand of mine. Now start identifying your partners without talking. And everybody enjoyed the game. And Mac was really happy at the end of the day because the magic made his day. So it was the story of Mac, who is a man, also a magician, does magic and he made people wear masks and wanted them to identify their partners or friends or family. Okay, so you too can choose any of these words that start with M or any of these letters that we saw so far and make your own stories. Story is the best form of expression. So make as many stories as possible using these alphabets and the words producing the sounds and tell your parents. Isn't that funny and exciting? Please do that and let us know how was experience. Thank you for watching.